Hello, welcome back to Hacienda Homestead. Today I am making a meatloaf. Um, Viking Mama left her recipe in the comments and I wanted to try it. It's something unlike I've ever tried before as far as a meatloaf goes and so I was excited. So I set out some sausage and hamburger meat this morning and it's been thawing. So now uh, I'm gonna get everything mixed together and get it in the oven. So the recipe calls for a pound of ground beef and a pound of Italian sausage. So I have two pounds here of ground beef. When we had our meat processed, I asked for two pounds, but tonight it's just me and my husband and kids. So I'm just gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna add the other half to my skillet because tomorrow I'm planning on making pizza. So I can go ahead and brown up my meat and it'll be ready for pizza tomorrow. And one last thing I'll have to do tomorrow. And this is also two pounds of sausage. So I'm going to add one in here. And I'm gonna put the other in my skillet. And I will just brown that up and then pop it in the refrigerator. And tomorrow I will just have to layer it on our pizza. The recipe called for Italian sausage. I did not have Italian sausage, so I do have Italian seasoning. So I'm just gonna add some of that to the sausage and we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna add some Italian seasonings. And then two eggs. and a sleeve of crushed saltine crackers. I'm just gonna mix all of this up together. I was telling my husband about this recipe and I told him it never even occurred to me to add sausage to a meatloaf, but I bet this is going to be delicious. I mean, everything's delicious with sausage. <laughs> Wanna be sure and get, get the meat, the sausage and the hamburger meat incorporated well together. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to add it to a loaf pan. Okay, I have my loaf pan here. I'm gonna spray it. It's a non-stick pan anyway. And then I'm going to, to turn out my meat and just put it in the loaf pan. Press it, press it down. And I've preheated my oven to 350. So now I'm just gonna put it in and I'm going to bake it for an hour. I just took our meatloaf out of the oven. It smells so good, I can't wait to try it. So we're just going to let it rest for five to 10 minutes and then um, we'll do a taste test. So here's my plate, my meatloaf. 
So now I'm gonna try it. it smells so good. That is so good. The sausage really makes it just take on a totally different flavor. This may be my, my new meatloaf recipe. So thank you to Viking Mama for sharing your recipe. And as always, if y'all have a recipe y'all want me to try, just uh, put it in the comments and I will get around to it. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. I have had several people ask me for my pie dough recipe that I used when I made the chicken pot pie. So I thought I would make a quick video and show you and show you my recipe. Uh, I'm gonna start by dicing up 20 tablespoons of butter. So one ingredient in this pie dough that might take you by surprise, or it may not, is that it has vodka in it. The ethanol in the vodka stops the flour gluten from binding and you have a and you have a more moist and softer crust because of it. So you might try it once just to see if you like it. See if you notice a difference. Of course all the alcohol bakes out of it so you you don't really even know that there's vodka in it. It doesn't change the taste or anything. Okay, I have all my butter diced up. And now I'm gonna start adding my ingredients to my food processor. One and a half cups of flour. Two tablespoons of sugar. A teaspoon of salt, which I'm just gonna eyeball. And then I'm gonna add my butter. And then I'm just going to pulsate this until my butter is about pea size in the flour. Now that my butter is pea size, I'm going to add another cup of flour. And then I'm gonna add a half a cup of ice water. half a cup of vodka. And I just mix the vodka and the water together and then I just slowly pour it into my food processor that way. So as I'm pulsating, I'm just gonna slowly pour my water and vodka mixture. Okay, 
and I'm make a nice clean spot for my dough here. And I'm just going to turn my dough out onto the counter. And it's kind of a wet dough. So it might be a little too wet. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to it. And you'll be able to tell if you need more flour. Just gonna sprinkle a little flour. And this makes two um, pie crust. And then from here, if you wanted to go ahead and make a pie or anything else that you wanna do with this dough, you can, or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is I'm just going to wrap it in some saran wrap and then put it in a baggie. And then I'm gonna have two pie crusts in my freezer for when I need them next. So I'll give you a close up of, of this of this pie crust. It's nice and fluffy and you can see little, the little um, pea sized butter chunks in it. It makes a really, really good crust. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna cut it down the middle. And there I have two pie crusts. And how I store them in the freezer, I usually make them into balls and then I kind of press them down like this. That way, um, when it comes to thawing them, when I want to finally use them, it's easier to thaw and they're ready to go. Let me know how you like this recipe if you try it and I'll see you next time.